hello and welcome everybody it is pox again so today i want to go ahead and show you guys the death's earth character i actually just got death's oath running uh i got two levels before i did anything here let me just move this text out of the way um and this is currently what we're going with now remember if you want to see my characters or my builds all you have to go do is look at my profile and look at the character pox ci so this flame golem doesn't really do anything so if you watch the previous video you'll know the links that i'm currently using which is just efficacy, increased AoE, less duration, avoid manipulation, and arcane surge. Now I've just got some basic energy shield gear, nothing really too crazy, just to show you guys what I'm using. Nothing here should be terribly expensive, for the most part it's all a couple chaos. Um, nothing probably being over 5 chaos. And the belt that I'm using is Ascend from Flesh. I would highly recommend for you guys to play around with using something like a... Um, darkness enthroned um, belt because you can get more energy shield and then this current ascent from flesh on this belt along with damage oriented jewels or whatever it is that you'd like I'd recommend going for like increased damage over time while holding a shield and or you know increased damage while killed recently or when you've killed after you've killed recently along with just like some energy shield jewels uh, this is the tree that we've got right now. You can see nothing really too crazy. We've got a lot of energy shield to fill in here. I've got to pick up coordination for like blight. Uh, I have this whole cluster over it. Well, these two, we're going to come down and grab ES. We've got a jewel. We have a lot of shit to grab. No skill effect duration. Also don't have skittering runes. So let's go ahead and pop in. We're currently using temporal chains, uh, despair, and discipline now the only thing I would tell you is that I would highly recommend getting a quality despair because it's very important for the build um, at least I think it is so that's one thing to make sure you get going because it actually increases the amount that they take from your damage over time so I want to just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in blood aqueduct because I will be here probably to like level 70 maybe 71 until we've got all of our gear going now we would ideally use Alepathy, but we don't have them, so we're just using like increased AoE, Blight, Controlled Destruction, Faster Casting. Don't use these links. Here we go. Oh, I also, I also do not even have my Merc Lab. This is only Cruel Lab. So our Labyrinth is just this. Profane Bloom would be an immense damage increase to the build. Now we currently have one spreading rot jewel. When we get our second spreading rot jewel, our single target will go up drastically. And then of course, when we get our Lepathy gloves, our single target will go up by like five times because I'm using like a really bad blight right now. It's really cool because the blight effect from the jewel, so like the hinder from the blight makes targets take increased chaos damage, uh, which scales your death's oath, which is very nice. This guy cursed at me and I didn't even see. Feels single target, man. Yeah, they're both hexproof. Wow. Feels bad. You can see the single target is not the greatest right now. Again, though, this is... The build's not really ready yet for single target. I'm just using, like, some really shitty links for Blight. There's a little demonstration. 
Now, remember, just to confirm, we are going to be using our Alepathy Gloves here, which will give us a level 22 Blight along with the Hinder Duration, which is very important. And then using a second Spreading Rot, um, which I can just replace it here. I just don't really need to kill anything for single target right now, so I'm not concerned about it. Um, so that's going to be like huge damage increases. Quality Gems along with an actual Link right here. I don't remember what this is. I think Swift Affliction. I'm also running Ink AoE instead of Conk. That would be another damage increase. Um, and then, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what we're working with. Also, picking up Corruption is going to be pretty nice. This is huge. If you would like to see the actual tooltip of the Death's Oath Aura, here you go. Um, just to show you guys a little bit to save some misinformation and some confusion, I'd like to show you guys how the Death Oath Aura actually scales. So I'm going to remove everything from here right now. Is this Swift Affliction? Okay. Now, putting in Void Manipulation is going to increase the damage of it. You can tell because the actual, like, the icon gets updated. Putting in Efficacy is going to increase it. Putting in Ink AoE and or Conk Effect is going to increase it. You can just see the tag there. Using something like Less Duration is not going to work, and using something like Swift Affliction is not going to work. The reason why is you need to have a Duration tag, because they're tag Duration. If you use Arcane Surge, which has a Duration on it, it forces your Death's Oath to acquire the Duration tag, which allows it to scale off of Duration-based support gems like Less Duration and Swift Affliction. That is why you need specific colors on your Death's Oath. Ideally, you would want blue, 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 green, green, red. That would be your ideal colors. But play around with whatever you can get. I wouldn't recommend playing Death's Oath unless you can get four off colors minimum. Uh, just because each gem is essentially a multiplier and you're trying to scale a flat amount of damage. But anyway, that's pretty much it from what I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Remember, if you do want to do the transition to CI early, I would recommend to get some Vol Disciplines going because Vol Discipline is OP, OP. But that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Quick shout out to Into the AM because they have some really cool clothing. No, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like their stuff. It's cool. Check it out. Have a good one, everybody. Oh yeah, I forgot my real outro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll edit this out. Remember guys, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time.